So here we are, going on a little journey of adventure and discovery. Here's a big patch of brambles, so that might give you a clue. <laughs> Here's Lottie, our faithful guide. Oop, I'm just going to sniff. Okay, hopefully I'm in the shot there. We're going to go in and see if we can find the abandoned quarry. So I don't know if it's been cut down or something. There used to be a some kind of fence here, I think. So now, from this side anyway, relatively easy to go in and have a look around. See which way we're to go. Lottie says go this way. Very muddy at this time of year. And there we go. You can start to see this strange little abandoned, neglected, forgotten place. I think these little places that slip between the cracks are kind of interesting. I think it used to be more overgrown in here when I was little and there used to be a lot more rubbish that had been dumped illegally. And the slopes and things seemed really big to us as we scrambled up and down them. It's a stupid place to play really. Down here is a big dip. See some bits of old metal railings and things. And I think that might have been where there was a car dumped. Uh, it wasn't a posh sports car, MG or anything like that. It was just an old battered car with most of its bits missing. Hope this isn't too sort of dizzying as I pan around and walk about. So now we're coming to it. And you can see the limestone. Up at the top there, uh, I don't know if you can make out, there is, a, there is a fence and above that there is a school playing field. So that aspect is of trespass is based on the idea there's a playing field up at the top. Um, the quarry in Trespass was very much bigger enterprise than this. This is uh, obviously quite small. But you can see, I mean, even today, as we come here, the stuff, strangely, rather like the book, was, although we have razor wire, uh, there's a tangle of barbed wire here. <laughs> and uh, drinks cans and things. So I would guess but there are kids coming in here. <laughs> kids who shouldn't be really. But yeah, this is, um, as you can see, probably much smaller than the, the quarry in, the fictional quarry in Trespass. Um, but you can maybe see where some of the elements come from. And there is somewhere over here, there's even a i pick my way over the empty lager cans, all on boulders and things. There is a ledge somewhere. No, it's not terribly hidden. We used to sort of go scrambling about up these sort of slopes and hide out and things. Um, I suppose that's kind of it there, if I can try and zoom in. There is some kind of flat ledge area. Kind of trace the edge of it just. And again, this is much, this, this rock face is much smaller than the fictional one. 
but I think the memory of it helped to inform it and to give some sense of what it's like to be in this place which we're, we're near a large school and you know not far from the centre of town even but it's kind of very abandoned and forgotten and you feel kind of a, a sense of atmosphere in somewhere like this a lot of the stuff that used to be, there were even things, I remember there being like chemical drums and things here. So again, that idea uh, is in the book. And all sorts of other rubbish, which bits of old metal junk and things, which course, we thought were great as kids, but... Really a stupid place for people to play. I seem to remember one kid did have a, a nasty accident here where I think they fell off something. Um, And who knows what had been dumped in here. I mean, you know, what was in those leaky chemical drums that had been thrown down over the years, rusting away. Lottie's enjoying it. Perhaps there's rabbits and things in here that she can smell. And you can see as there's old sort of trees, stunted trees and things growing out. They're clinging on onto the, the rock up there. Especially there, that's... I'm not very expert at filming with this camera, but I think that you can see some trees and things growing out from the rock. The idea of using um, U stakes to split the rock when, when they soaked up water um, wasn't done here as far as I know. That was I took that from somewhere else. There's a place in Gloucestershire where there is now a massive U wood for I'm told for that reason. I think they call it puzzle wood. And they <coughs> it does have lots of yew trees growing in uh, amongst the rocks. And apparently that was how they sprouted because they'd been had been, stakes had been hammered in and had later taken root and, and sprouted into trees. And new trees are, certainly in this country, they are often in places that had certain um, mystical type significance attached to them and they're because the berries are poisonous and grass doesn't grow around them and things like that, I believe. And being evergreen, evergreen plants were important to a lot of people. With, uh, symbols of the that life was going on in the depths of winter. So there is sort of a, a little bit more to see but I don't think it's I'll have a little look up here just to scramble about and relive my youth a bit. Yeah. Shame about all this litter and stuff. It's surprising really that something isn't done to use this place, you know, make it into a little park or something. Or a wildlife reserve or something like that would be ideal, but uh, I guess I don't know who owns it or... Yeah. So, I hope you find that just uh, gives a little bit of background. If you haven't... <laughs> read it. I hope I haven't done any spoilers. <laughs> I'm sort of trying not to but um, I guess this video is more likely to be of interest to someone who's read Trespass. So here you are. Something of the place that was sort of lodged in memories from my childhood. And uh, you can see kind of a ledge up there as well. Zoom into that a bit. I think places like that are quite intriguing because you think, okay, well, I wonder what's up there. Maybe I could climb up and see what's up there. And, you know, this isn't, um, wouldn't be that difficult, would it, compared to the the much higher slope in the mythical Scadderston Pit, which is a totally mythical town, you know, a fictional, sorry, a totally fictional town that, that I, I just created. As far as now, there is no place called Scadderston. Um, there we go. So, hope that was interesting. 
and uh, it gives you a bit of a, a background if you're wondering, you know, where do I get my ideas from? That helps to answer part of that question. Of course, there's a lot more to it than that and lots of elements coming in from all kinds of different things. So, thank you for watching.